Now, um, from all of this, right, what this tends to transition to is a bunch of questions in, in manipulating and combining these different results in different ways. I will show you those examples in a second. But I have to justify for you, and I've got two, two big reasons. Um, why any of this is, like, what's the point of all this? What's, like, why do we bother learning this? Okay, I've got three reasons for you. Um, the first reason, I just need a bit of space here. The first reason is, what we're saying here is, we know these relationships between um, what these roots are, and we can get them very, very simply. Like, you just have to read off what the coefficients are and divide a pair of numbers. Like, how easy does it get? Okay, now... The enormity of that is probably lost on you a little bit because we're quite used to finding roots and knowing what they are, okay? If I give you something, uh, like even something a bit awkward like this, okay? Like this is, this is not my, oh, actually, no, that's too high, I think. Uh, let's just make it this, okay? This is going to have some roots. You can find them with the quadratic formula, okay? You can add them, you can subtract them, no big deal, okay? That's because the quadratic formula, despite what a disaster it looks like when you first learn it, is actually not that hard to work with. Like, it doesn't take that long to memorize the series. It's not that complicated, okay? But as you add layers of complexity, as you go to, say, the cubic, things get a little more difficult. So thank you for my helpers who gave me blue tap, right? Um, I'm, I'm doing it this way because I, <laughs> I don't want to write out the cubic formula because this is what the cubic formula looks like. Now, just look at it for a second. <laughs> and contemplate what it's doing. Um, it's, it's doing the same thing that the quadratic formula is doing. Okay? It's saying, look, you want to start with a general cubic, right? AX cubed plus BX cubed, blah, 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 right? And then say, well, tell me what X is. Right? Tell me what X is. There were two of these. There should be three of these, right? Now you look at this, and this looks bad enough. You've got cube roots of square roots of blah, blah, blah. That looks bad, but actually, it's not. It's even worse because all of these things underneath the square root, if your eyesight is not that good, right? All of these things are also disastrous things themselves, right? It's just, it's really terrible. Okay, now the cubic formula is bad. We went from the, we went from the, we went from the quadratic to the cubic, and that's what happened, right? When you go to the quartic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now, what basically happens is, remember how I said, here for the cubic formula, okay? Um, in the quadratic, the building blocks are just A, B, and C, okay? When you move up to the cubic, the building blocks become things that themselves are the size of the quadratic formula, okay? When you go to the quartic, the building blocks are things that are the size of the cubic formula, okay? Now, here's my favorite one. Right? Because after three and then four comes five. Right? Oh, no. So this is this is this is my favorite. By the way, no, uh, it says no. <laughs> it says on four. There is no critical. Oh. This is my favorite. Now um, cubic is three, quartic is four, quintic is five. Now when I say there's no quintic formula, notice I don't say um, we just haven't found it yet. Okay? What's astonishing is it's been proven that you can't find a quintic formula or a hex or hept or I don't know for any degree higher than four, right? Five and above, a formula can't be found. It doesn't exist. Now this is, um, you're probably guessing now we're going outside the syllabus, but I do want to say to you, right? Um, these methods here, one, two, three, um, they're what we call um, algebraic computation, right? Like we're using tools of algebra. Like these are all algebra, plus, minus, square root, squaring. That's all algebraic operations, right? If you want to find the roots of anything above this, or even practically speaking, if you want to find these roots, like these formulas exist, but no one uses them, right? Because look at them. Like you can't even read that thing, okay? Instead of doing that, for anything kind of like this, we use methods called numerical approximation. Uh, it's in a field of mathematics called analysis, okay? So analysis, and we're actually going to next year, numerical analysis, we're going to learn um, a couple of methods for approximately finding what the solutions to these equations are. Because finding them exactly is ridiculous. Like it's legitimately ridiculous, right? And um, if you want to find an answer for these things, you just need to get close enough. Like, get me five decimal places, and that'll be accurate for any building or any, like, architectural or any physical application you want, okay? Um, but this is just astonishing, that we can work with, like, these things. See these simple, simple numbers that you get out of here? 
The numbers you're adding up and multiplying are these numbers, right? And we reduce something that's insane and so, so difficult that we invent a new field of maths to work with them. You just have to like divide some numbers. That's all you have to do. Does that work okay. for um, like printings? This, these results, they just keep going, right? Oh, right. I could, I could vary, uh, we won't, but I, I could very easily write, you know, <laughs> ax to the 5 plus bx to the 4, <laughs> da 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 da, right? And then over here, you'd have <coughs> x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, x minus delta, x minus Omega. epsilon would be the next one. Whoa. Omega's the last one. Excellent. Actually, um, it's a shame because epsilon is really easy to write, oh. but anyway. Oh. Now, so we can... Mu. Oh. Like it's a it's a U with a reverse yeah. tail. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now here's my point though, right? Like this this makes mid speed of an impossible problem. Okay? This is why this is beautiful. It takes something which is computationally impossible and just makes it simple. Like so simple that we can just like we don't even need calculators for a lot of this stuff. You just look at the numbers you divide. 